Hello everyone, today I will show you a very quick guide to get you started with Vista. This video will cover the most basic information, for more detail, please see the documentation. Here I have an empty Unity project. First thing first, open the package manager, go to my assets section and search for Vista, then import it into the project. When the import is completed, you might see that it will add the searcher and editor coroutines package too. If not, please install them manually. You need to have some terrains in the scene. I'm going to use the Unity's terrain tools to create a grid of 2x2 two two terrains, that covers an area of 2 squared kilometers. For Polaris terrains, you can use the wizard tool to create them, and group tools to manage their settings. Note that you don't need to set the texture size as well as terrain height, as they will be managed by Vista. Next, create a Vista manager by right-clicking on the hierarchy. Then select 3D Object, Vista, Vista Manager. The Vista Manager will manage the generation pipeline, the terrain tiles that will receive data, as well as the biomes in the scenes. To assign your terrains to the Vista Manager, drag and drop them into the gray box in the inspector. You will see the terrains now highlighted with cyan boxes in the scene. Under Tile Settings, set your desired value for texture resolution and terrain height there. Now we will create a biome by right-clicking on the Vista Manager in the hierarchy. Then select 3D Object, Vista, Local Procedural Biome. Remember that a biome must be a child game object of the Vista Manager, otherwise it won't work. Usually there will be a default biome when you create the Vista Manager. So I will just use the default one this time. Select the biome, in the inspector, I will use a base resolution of 2K, since the terrains cover an area of 2 squared kilometers. You can use any value you want, depending on your quality needs. Next, under the Anchors section, click on the Snap to All Tiles button. You can have a polygonal biome by adjusting its anchors, but I will leave that topic for another video. To define the biome's rule, you will need a terrain graph asset. Right-click on the project window, select Create, Vista, Terrain Graph, give it a name. Then assign the graph to its slot in the biome inspector. To open the graph, Click on the Edit button next to the slot. In the Graph Editor, you will edit the graph using the Graph View and Properties view, while the data will be visualized in the 3D and 2D viewport. You can toggle these viewports using the button on the top right corner of the window. In the graph view, press the space bar to bring up the node browser, then search for the noise node. Double click or press enter to add it to the graph. Select the noise node, you will see the 3D and 2D viewport updated with a very simple mountain range shape. Play around with the properties if you like. Next, we will add some erosion to make it look a bit better. Add a new hydraulic erosion node next to the noise node. You can connect two nodes by drag and drop between their two appropriate slots. Great! Now we will output this height map to the scene by creating a height output node. Save the graph. Come back to the scene view and you will see the terrains updated.
There are many masking and texturing techniques, which we will cover them in a whole video later. To output texture to the terrain, you need to create some texture output nodes. Each texture output node can only output one layer at a time. For this example, we will output two layers, grass and sand to highlight the erosion effect on a grassy terrain. Select the texture output nodes, then assign the terrain layer to the slot in the properties view. To ensure the layer weights will not go too high, we will use a weight blend node, set its layer count to 2. Connect the layer 0 output to the grass output node. Since the default value for the first layer is white, so we can leave the layer 0 input blank. Next, connect the sand output node like this. We will use the remap node to enhance the erosion mask. Save the graph. Come back to the scene view then your terrains are now textured. To be able to plant trees and details on your terrain, you will need to create some tree template and detail template asset in the project window. I have prepared some for your in the sample folder, so just use them for now. In the graph view, add a new point grid node to generate a set of points. These points will determine the position of the tree instances. You can see there are some red markers in the 3D viewport too. Increase the density to have more points if you want to. However, trees in the nature usually not grow like this, so we will add another spread node to scatter more points around the previous point set. Finally, connect the output to a tree output node. Drop the sample tree template into its slot, and save the graph. I will maximize the tree render distance to see the result better for now. Back to the graph. We will plant some grass at the area where the texture is green. Since we've already had it in the texture output, simply plug the output to a detail density output node, and drop the sample detail template to its slot. Save the graph and go back to the scene. An important thing to notice that is, for Polaris terrain, detail density output node will take no effect you need to use the detail instance output node instead. Congratulations! You've created a great landscape with such a simple graph. Now try playing around with the graph, add more simulations, more textures and vegetation species to it. There is also a demo scene packed with the asset. Please play around with it to learn more about the techniques you can use with Vista.